Okay, good morning world. Today is February 5th, 2021. Uh, today I've been having this 24-inch um, le Legend snowblower. It has a dual uh, uh, chute. I used to have, I still got a single one, but when you have long driveways, people, you need a, you need a dual um, uh, chute because when you do them long chute, long driveways, you're going to appreciate it when you're out there and it's freezing cold. You don't have time to keep cleaning the thing out. Put it to you like this. The difference from a single stage and a dual stage is, for example, when you're cutting your grass in the summertime and you let the grass get too tall and you got to keep bending down, unclogging the chute down there. Same thing with a snowblower. When you get all that heavy, wet snow, them single stages are not going to do it. Yeah, particularly, now a single stage is cool as all you got is a walkway, you know, in front of your home. Okay, a single stage is fine. But when you get that long driveway from the street all the way back at the end of your lot, I advise you to get a dual stage snow thrower. Don't even look at single stage. If you got a homeowner, if you are a homeowner and you got a long driveway, don't even waste your time looking at a single stage. Anyway, I just put it together. Again, this is the Legend Force 24-inch snowblower. Today is February the 5th. I'm in, as you can see, I'm in my living room putting this thing together. It's about 8 inches of snow out here in Michigan. And I just thought I would chime in on you and let you know I put it together. It was pretty simple to put together. Basically, all you're doing is putting these handles together, putting the uh, chute thing together so you can control it. Then you got to put the chute on itself. But the mechanics of it, the whole body of it, even the wheels are already on. You're just pretty much, folks, putting the handles on, which is pretty simple. These are the tools you're going to probably need. That's my Roby. That's my road dog there. That thing helps me with everything, all your household. I advise you to get one if you don't have one. It's nice for your little home projects. This is my Roby little supply with all my little gadgets to put attachments to put on there and then you're going to probably need some ratchets this is the kind of stuff you're going to need to put this thing together okay and that's pretty much it's pretty simple it take about 45 minutes or a good hour not difficult you don't really have to have any real mechanical aptitude you got to put this thing on here that's a part of it there i had to think about that if that controls that dual action see here see that yeah okay so i'm getting ready to take it out for the first time, I just wanted to, this is video too, y'all. I did a, one video to show how Home Depot boxed it up real nice, shipped it to my home. This thing, it sells today for about $700, y'all. I bought it about two months ago for $500. Yeah. And today here in Michigan, I don't know where you're at, but here in Michigan, I doubt if you can even get a snowblower today. So I just wanted to chime in and show y'all. I said I would come back and show y'all. This is part two. I finally took this thing out of the box. So again, it's pretty simple to put together. I just wanted to chime in and let y'all know that it's pretty simple to put together. Don't be intimidated by putting this thing together. It's pretty simple. And, uh, that's that, folks. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice. Pretty cool putting it in my living room. Now I'm going to start putting some oil and gas in it. Uh, one other thing I'm going to be leaving in a minute. But I advise you all, especially like me, or even in your garage, you don't want to create a real mess, save the box. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this box up. Set this machine on top of the box and begin to put my oil and gas in it. And that's going to be the final stage of it. And then I'm going to be taking it outside and actually give it a go. So I said I would come back and let y'all know how it was when I had it boxed. And now I'm going to actually use this thing today. Have a great day, folks. And I'm, I'm going to take it outside, so maybe I'll do a third video to show you all how it actually works. I did video one to show you how it was boxed. This is video two to show you after uh, the assembly of it, which was pretty simple. I like to do reviews because people do other reviews and they show me how to do my little projects when I'm in the market for an item or if I'm contemplating, and in this case, a snowblower or whatever it is. I go to YouTube and I go try to find reviews. So I just want to extend the same courtesy that others have done for me. And this thing is a beast, y'all. We got, I did some reviews on it. Everybody said it works nice. So we're going to find out. I'm going to go ahead on and start putting my liquids in. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put my liquids in, and I'm going to check the spark plug to make sure it's tight and everything. Okay, have a great day.